Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Cygnus. She... what, miss? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden? If I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. Hakon, a coward? That's hard to believe. Maybe you're right. Maybe he's just a traitor. He talked others out of coming to the TV station, too. They left Frank and his team on their own. Then he cut me off, like he never even knew me. And then he fucked off to Waltz. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. Good morning, Villador. It's a brand new day, a brand new world. This is your friend Frank broadcasting. Yes, that's right, broadcasting from the fisheye. From now on, I'll be bringing you all the good news from around Villador. Helping transform this city back into the community it once was. <laughs> Luan? Hey, Luan, you there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Aiden, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. Oh, fine. Be there soon.
used to think there was nothing worse than the infected. Today, I'm not so sure. Well, then at least share what you're thinking about. Excuse me, what is this place? How can you not know? Wait. Are you that pilgrim? It depends. He must have been on the VNC Tower mission. My name is Kyra. I'm Leon's wife. Leon? My condolences. He was a great man, an excellent soldier. Like everyone in Squad 404. Squad 404? Haven't you heard of them? They were legendary. They were the ones who helped get Frank out of the VNC Tower. They were the ones who defended the Missy when the infected got inside. They were role models for every PK. And at this point, we should honor their memory. How do you know Squad 404 so well? I was their radio operator. I heard the last blows they got, and their last words. I can still hear them in my dreams, but that's a good thing, you know, because we mustn't forget them. And this place, the PK should honor their memory here, just like they did with the others who fell. Yeah, I know what you mean, to remember. It's our duty. Pilgrim. May I ask something of you? Will you help me collect them? Collect all the dog tags of Squad 404? I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You already met some of them. Vitzbowski, Chris and Lieutenant Rowe in the VNC Tower. I already got the dog tags from the men in the VNC Tower. As for the rest of the squad, here are the action reports. You already know what to do. I'm sure the brothers and sister would like to be reunited. You're a miracle worker. You found them, then brought them back safely. Oh, ho, ho, ho. here now is one of the original great American novels, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Mark Twain was a wry observer of the human condition and a sharp-witted satirist. What would his take on the divisions of our society be, I wonder? Here we have what is known as the written Torah, an introduction, if you will, to the origin story of the Jewish people, and part of the larger concept of the Torah that includes all their teachings, culture, and practice. 
a crucial tome of religion and culture. Our collection is growing by leaps and bounds, <laughs> primarily due to your leaping and bounding. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you are a stoic, aren't you? Damn, <laughs> thought you'd have a better sense of humor than Thalia. <laughs> oh, well. Aiden, it's such a wonderful day. Let's dispense with all this dreary philosophizing, shall we? <laughs> okay. I see you brought back the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Tell me, Aiden, as a pilgrim, are you an adventurer like Huckleberry Finn? A pilgrim doesn't have the luxury of adventure, Thalia. I didn't mean anything by it, Aiden. I, I just thought... I thought what? That the real world is the same as some lazy adventure novel? I'm sorry, Aiden. That was insensitive of me. Yeah, I guess it's all you know. Surrounded by books all the time. Me? I grew up surrounded by you. Much more dangerous things. Of course, Aiden. Well... Goodbye for now. Hopefully we'll be more in sync next time. Before you go. for someone? Ah, Aiden. You might come in handy. Yes, one of my men deserted his post. Ah, that's serious. Who was it? That's what pisses me off. It was a friend, a guy named Bart. Maybe it's my fault. I know he had it rough here. I tried to protect him. I guess it wasn't enough. You protect him? From who? The other soldiers. They... Had a problem with him. Which was... Their problem, not Bart's. Believe me, I know what it's like to be the odd man, or woman, out in old school military culture. But here's my problem. Desertion alone will get him the death penalty. But what he took could get others, good men, killed. What did he steal? Let's call it a map. That's all I can tell you. The rest is on a need-to-know basis only. And you don't need to know. You need me to track him down? Yes. With everything going on, I just don't have the manpower to spare. But I must get that map back. Okay, I get the map. But what about Bart? When you bring the map back, just tell me where he is and leave the rest to me. It's my job. Okay, where should I start looking? Try his bunk. It's in the barracks, a deck above us. Can I ask anyone about Bar? Sure. He was pretty well known, whether he liked it or not. He was popular among the new recruits. Try asking Mateo. He's usually hanging around the armory. Then there's Magda. Never had a kind word to say about Bart. Nor anyone, for that matter. She works in the hospital on the next floor. Okay. I think I can take it from here. Good luck, Aiden.
but I guess I'm better off on this side. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Who are you ma'aming? What do you want? I'm busy. I'm trying to find someone. A, a man named Bart. Are you familiar with him? Bart? <laughs> Fuck yes. Don't get me started. Ah, so you know him. Yep. But I got no time to talk to you, especially about a perv like Bart. Besides, boss says I gotta watch my mouth. <laughs> That's bullshit if you ask me. Can't tell me anything? I just did, you moron. Do I have to spell it out for you? People like that shouldn't be around children, if you ask me. But that's all I'm saying. Oh, I see. Thank you. You shouldn't be here. PK barracks are off limits to civilians. Find something? Hmm. You know anything about this? Not really, but it's good. Bull crayon work, if you ask me. Who drew it? Couldn't tell you. I've seen Bart with pictures like this off and on over the last year. But as far as I know, he doesn't have children of his own. Ah, children. Mine are all grown. Not all are still alive either, sadly. But I remember when they were young and happy, drawing constantly. They scribbled their way through boxes and boxes of crayons. The kid who drew that, he's a happy kid. Well, if Bart doesn't have kids, where'd he get it? Probably child of a friend or something. He was kind to everyone. Here, there, everywhere. Unless you're a bully. Hmm. Well, this doesn't help. Now what do I do? You might ask Stack over at the canteen. Seen them together a few times. Bart helped him when he was in some trouble. Helped everyone a lot. Thanks. I'll go talk to that star.
Can you believe this? Freaks me out when things like that happen. Then give it here. Hello, I'm from the Carrier's Guild. I have a letter for Barry. Mom? Mommy! It's a letter from Dad! Careful, don't tear the letter when you open it. I won't, Mom. I swear. Bless you, Carrier. You made my son's day. I have a letter for you. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I brought the letter as soon as it was given to me. Now, I'm not upset with you. It's my son. Weeks without hearing from him. Thought he was dead. No concern for his father. I'm thankful for you, Carrier. At least now I know my idiot son is still alive. Hope Jack Matt deals with... Hey, Driscoll, job's done. All packages delivered safely. Well, that's what I want to hear. Come by when you Come can. on, Luan, answer I've me. You there? For you. Ah, great. Remember, I fixed the transmitter and now you're going to get here quicker. It's January 7th, 2036. I found your recordings. Um, I understand why you hid these from me. I was sad when you said this wasn't the life you wanted for me. You don't regret that I lived, do you? No, of course not. I mean, sure, life is complicated. We just moved for the 10th time, we had to kill Rex, and then, you know, mom died. But hey, I've got all my limbs, I have enough food to eat, I have friends, I have you. And after 14 years of zombie shit, I think I turned out all right. <laughs> I see every day how hard it was for you, and how you try to make life better for me. And that, well, if it wasn't for me, you might not. I can't even say that. I don't know what life used to be like. I only know the world as it is now. And I just want to tell you that, well, I don't know, that I'm happy to be alive, you know? And that I'm grateful. Stach, I was told you know Bart. Who doesn't know Bart? What's this all about anyway? He left his post. He's accused of desertion. Son of a bitch. He finally went for it. Good for him. Good for them. If I were you, I'd just leave him be. We all should. This probably happened because Meyer can't keep a leash on her men. You hear any other bullshit about Bart? Um, he's been accused of theft. Well, that's nonsense, that is. Bart is honest as the day is long. He's got no reason to steal from anyone. And the CEO doesn't want to believe it either. You mean Meyer? 
Hmm. That's all I've been told. Trust me, a lot of other PK have had it in for Bart since day one. Meyer's respected, mostly. But when it came to Bart, her men refused to follow her lead. I trust you, so I'll tell you this. Bart's loyal military, but he had another side. Like the outdoors, always out near the fields. Ask the field workers on top of the old office building at the intersection of Van Peel and St. Paul Boulevard. It's right here in New Dorn Park. Thanks, I'll do just that. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. They harm me, you know. A Dave whose legs I watch get torn off by a volatile. Edgar, all of them. But the real pest is Ravik. I was pissed when he took Akon's side, but then the bastard showed up anyway. Stupid kid. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, <laughs> so, been thinking, maybe it's time I joined you, you know, huh? Frank, lay off the bottle. You reek. Don't like the stink? Then leave, Killian. I can't watch you do this anymore. Then close your eyes. Huh? Can you see them? Dave, Edgar, Ravik. Man, that other kid. What's his name? He, he wasn't Night Runner material. Anton. You were right about him, but not about the mission. Would have been fine if we got in together. Then we'd all be dead. Shut up! Remember what I said? By doing this, we agree to die. There are more important things than living, huh? <laughs> Not everyone will understand it. They don't have to. <laughs> we face death solemnly. This is the way from darkness to light. <sighs> Load of fucking garbage. Frank, get over yourself. And Ravik. What's done is done. Out of my fucking face, Killian. I never want to see you again. I'm a moron. Fucking moron. This is Frank on Radio Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. We started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. your attention now with those renegades yes but how did you the tv station used to be controlled by the military they did more than just broadcast from there thanks to you we can now listen in on the enemy it appears that waltz is looking for the same database you're after but the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals <laughs> i have no idea how this gre crap works but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, 
we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, it'll boost the signal and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. It'd be quicker if I could just find him. You're impatient, I understand. I know what it feels like to have wasted too much time. But you have to tread carefully. Remember, you said Waltz turned the power back on. Then the renegades invaded the central loop. There's something going on. So best to collect as much intel as we can before you confront him. So, you think Waltz ordered the renegades into the central loop? Well, until now, the colonel kept him on a short leash in his stronghold. But the savages we've been seeing lately... What the fuck? Something must have changed. One of the PKs told me that Waltz is after something called, uh, X-13. Doesn't ring any bells. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now, the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. All right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Night runners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from the thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Good day,